Hello friends. Now I am going to show you how to use HTTP 80 commands of Telit GL 865 modules. For this demonstration, I am going to use Telit GL 865 Dual V3 series module. For the network connection, I am using an Airtel SIM card. So to demonstrate the process, I am going to show you how to make a get and a post request for, from this module. So that's why I have created two files, the get.php and the post.php. These two files uh, will echo a certain data so that uh, as a response to our uh, whatever commands we send it. So whenever a get request is made to the get.php, it will respond with this set of parameters like uh, if, uh, if we send any parameters in any URL encoded form, then it will uh, send a reply back with the same parameter values. And if we send in any, uh, and similarly with the post.php, if, if we send any data in the form of an, uh, like what we call any form URL encoded, as you can see in here. So here it is. So these are all post requests with the content type set, in, set to form URL encoded. Let me show you how this get.php works. So I have posted, uh, uploaded these files to my domain, raviyp.in slash get.php. So this is the same file what you have, you have, you are seeing here. To demonstrate this whole process, I have made two files called as get.php and post.php. So get dot uh, php what this file does is it uh, looks for any variables uh, passed in as url encoded in uh, url encoded format and uh, echoes them back what with whatever values they have been posted with so similarly the post request uh, this post dot php checks for any post variables so if there has been a post request to this file then it takes those parameters and echoes them back so let us test this how 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 this files works to show you to make you a quick demonstration here it is to show you a quick quick demonstration uh, i will show you how these files are uploaded i uploaded these files at uh, revyp.in at get.php so uh, this is the file so since no parameters have been passed to it it is uh, not showing anything so let us pass in a parameter called as temp is equal to 30 so it is saying temperature is equal to 30 so what we are doing is we are sending the parameter temp in url encoded form uh, with a get request so whatever type in the browser uh, any browser browser address bar and whenever you hit enter a get request is sent to the server so now suppose if you want to send a humidity value is equal to 90 sorry it's small case so whenever it looks for any parameters either temperature or humidity and if they are found it just echoes them back with some formatting so this is how a get request works suppose if you want to upload these values to a server from your uh, gprs device or an iot device and if you are using this gl865 module for communication then here is how we do it first thing is we should open the terminal software and uh, have an et command interface to the device set up the proper connection here i am using an evaluation module given by telit so these are its settings 115200 with a hardware handshaking and let's test a basic et command okay so the module is uh, responding back with uh, OK and to make a GET request all, uh, all the commands that are uh, that needs to be sent have been given in this uh, document called as Teletype Easy User Guide 19. So here it is. So first command is that we need to set the context with the APN. So I have you know noted down all these five commands whichever i worked in a file so we'll use that directly 
so here it is my apn is www so we will use that directly okay now uh, we uh, once this is set we have we have to check whether the gprs module has been connected to the uh, internet or not to check this we use the command at hash sg act question mark so a value of 1 comma 0 means it is not connected so to connect it we issue the command at hash sg act is equal to 1 comma 1 so this command will uh, provide access to the internet from the gprs module and after this we can <coughs> proceed to make the connections so the next command we issue is http configuration we tell the domain we are connecting and the ip address with the profile identifier here the profile identifier is zero and uh, the domain is reviewip.in and we are connected to the connecting to the port 80 of the server okay now uh, we have to send in the next part of the url uh, which is the path to where the file exists or the path to where the get request needs to be performed so here it is now uh, if we just send in get.php we will just get uh, we don't get any response so if we send in the values uh, like i am sending here using the command at, at, at plus http query sorry at hash http query is equal to 0 comma 0 and get dot php and this is the path so let us make this request okay so the command has been executed and uh, and we also received a response from the server the response is 200 and uh, it means success so the request was successful and we have also received some data so let us see if we have received any data to check this we have a command called at hash http rcv is equal to zero so here it is so the get request was successful and this is the data actually which we sent to the server 30 and 33 so this is how we make a get request to the server using telic gl865 modules of course you can implement the same thing with a tcp connection also but when you have direct commands using http so it's easier this way now i will show you how to make a post request to the same uh, server and uh, so the get request and post re post requests are different and they serve a different purpose so get requests are uh, better when we are sending small amount of data in your encoded form next i will show you how to make a http post request using gl865 module so it's quite simple everything will remain the same until this part uh, instead of this command at plus http query is equal to 0 comma 0 uh, we will make it uh, we will use a different command like this so before i show you this uh, uh, let me show you how a post request is made for this i will use a, a software called as fiddler and this uh, using this software i can uh, make a post request to the server and uh, we can see like what uh, data we can send and what data response we can get using this software i can send some post data in url encoded format and uh, get a response back so this is the uh, format where, where we can use we can use the composer option of the fiddler and uh, when we say we send a request to the post.php file and uh, we send this parameter temp is equal to 30 and humidity is equal to 45 so let us execute this request so here it is this was the request response from the server post request temperature is equal to 30 and humidity is equal to 45 so what all we did is uh, 
we had the post URL and uh, we had the content length of the data and uh, this 19 is actually the length of this data and this is uh, this is a very important we have to mention the content type parameter and uh, it has to be URL form URL encoded so these are all uh, similar to making a post request for a submit or submission of a form from an HTML page so let us try doing this from our GL865 module so here it is here is the command so what we are doing here is uh, we are sending the HTTP POST request so 0 comma 0 are some uh, profile identifiers so uh, we can check that information here so here it is so zero, first 0 is the profile ID and uh, next one is a command so th that 0 means po POST so we are using the POST request and the next part is the resource, the URL, the data length and the post parameter content type. So let us copy this thing. Uh, before we do this, uh, let us check for the first whether we have we are still connected to the internet or not. We can use the command at plus sg act. Okay, it's connected. Let us paste this command. Here I am using 21 as the value because the data we are sending has two new line characters. So this prompt means that we can start entering the data. So we just copy that data. Paste it. Hit enter twice. And we are good to go. So this is the response from the server for our post request. Let us uh, read what the command has got a response. So let us read what response the command has got. So is the command at hash http rcv is equal to 0. Post request temperature is equal to 30 and humidity is equal to 45. So this is how we make a post request. The post request can be performed in different ways uh, for different type of data here I am using application form URL encoded format uh, you can make multi part you know if you are suppose if you are up uploading a file you can use multi part file encode format file encoded format the post request can be made in multiple formats uh, it depends on the data that is being just being sent to the server here I am using application slash x form URL encoded format and if you suppose if you are sending any binary data you can use the multi-part uh, file upload or whatever uh, multi, I think it's multi-part form form data yeah so we can use the multi-part form data format uh, wherein you can send multiple variables and different kind of data in the same request maybe I'll make a tutorial on that soon so that's all for now thank you for watching